Okay, so we are talking about backtracking here. Uh, it's a nice paradigm in algorithms, uh, but here I will mostly focus on the data structure aspect of it. In particular, we will see stacks in action to solve problems using backtracking. We will also see concepts from trees here. Uh, so backtracking uh, is a way to solve problems that need some undoing mechanism okay along the way sudoku is one of them eight queens puzzle which is running here is one of them here for instance the task is to place eight queens on a uh, class board in such a way that they don't treat each other in the end and once you put a queen here along your iterations you may need to update its location again so you may want to undo that, that decision sudoku is similar to uh, these three by three windows are filled with unique numbers etc so basically until you reach your final state uh, you look at your choices if it is if the choices were good your final state is the goal state and otherwise it's not the goal state uh, so let's talk in terms of trees and stack each choice uh, is recorded okay and when you run out of choices for the current decision you pop the stack and you continue trying different choices like different children of trees for the previous decision okay uh, <coughs> so let's conceptually think a tree here with the root as your starting point it has some good leaves the nodes without any children and some bad leaves you want to get to a good leaf at each node after the root you choose one of its children to move to and to repeat until you get to a leaf so the backtracking is here uh, do backtrack to continue the search for a good leaf by cancelling your most recent choice and trying the next option in that set of options. So we will see this in action clearly. Let me show a conceptual example here. At the root, you have two options A and B, right? You choose A. At A, your options are C and D. So you explore them. C is bad, go back to A. The next option D is bad, go back to A. So at A, you have no options left to try. So you go back to root and uh, since A is already tried, try B now. Let's continue like that. Uh, so it will make sense, uh, believe me, later uh, when we see coding action and clear algorithms. So a generic framework with recursion and without recursion, then you need to use a stack, as you know, is can be formulated as follows. You have a problem, you are at a particular node, and to solve the problem, if that node is the is a leaf and the goal node, if that node is a leaf and it is also the goal node, then return true. I solve it. Otherwise, I return false for that particular node, so for that particular trace. However, if it's not a leaf, like I am an intermediate node, children, then call the solve recurse with all need children. Okay, and at some point. This will return true, so does this. And the stack version is also this, so I will go through this through an example. So let's skip uh, it now. So, uh, in this example, balls on the move. Your task is to move the blacks to the right, whites to the left, right? Uh, left. Uh, and the rule is uh, you can move one. Right, the blacks can go one right, and lefts can go one left, and also if you are, you can jump through, jump over one opposite color. Okay, so I can represent a board with an array, like ones for whites, twos for blacks, and minus one for empty cell. So this is the configuration with one empty in the middle in the beginning, and I have the same amount of each size of each color. Sorry. Uh, so let's go through one. Uh, let's go through one 
uh, trace so here black one then what is happening uh, opposite color so white clumps then black one right then what is happening opposite color so black clumps white to left now I am stuck because nowhere on right for the blacks and this white cannot jump over two balls it can jump over only one ball so it's a bad leaf uh, yeah, so it's move a little new boards uh, current boards so if we continue with that uh, implementation details after some observations we can implement a function like can move given a current board configuration like with uh, minus one and one and twos and an index to analyze if that index is empty no more possible return false if index contains a black move then check for a method to move towards right because blacks go right and if index contains a white ball then check for a valid move to go left so make move uh, basically uh, updates the board and returns the new board to you and so I solve the problem as follows okay so solvable so this looks very like to our generic framework here so for, is the current board configuration okay if yes then return to I solved it otherwise try all the possible positions one by one and so this position is that index and for the current board if the move is possible then do the move and get the new board then look at the new board is it solved no then do recurse in the recursion is it solved no so then continue from starting from that board configuration and look at the new children of that board right so this is this code is basically doing that uh, and you can also write this non recursively but let me show the trace of it using the non recursive version okay so this is the current board i put this node to my stack okay the node is called a uh, so your stack nodes will have this next pointer etc depending on your implementation but now in this node you also have an array attribute which keeps this array then this a so what is happening I begin with this so push a onto stack okay so in the stack the top is unmarked in the beginning so mark it mark me said I process this like in some sense then for each child of c push c to s so what child children can this a generate it can move black to right or white to left so two children push c and push b then come back here stack is not empty top node b is not marked not process it so mark it and from b create two configurations this to right and white clumps okay they are called e and d then do this then do 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 what in the top come s dot top is not a leaf uh, sorry s uh, s dot top is a leaf indeed why because at s dot top which is d i can't go further because there is no rule to support that uh, so it's a leaf but it is not a goal state so I just pop it off it is gone from my life now e e is the, I mark it and it generates new children f and g g and f then f generates h h generates f, i and k then i can't generate anymore so it falls into this pop it off part j can gen generate k K can generate L and L can generate M and M cannot generate anything so if I am in this if block it's a goal not return true I am done M is a good leaf and to print the solution like we have done here 
uh, you do your marking business actually. Uh, only the mark notes. So in other words, look at the stack now. M L K. I is already gone. Don't worry about it. J H F. I don't print T because it has never been marked. It was pushed to the stack, stack, but not marked. So I don't put it in my solution trace, which is nice because my solution trace is M L K K H F E B and A. Similarly, I don't print C even if it is in the stack. By the way, if M was a bad leaf, so in a hypothetical world, what would I have done? I would backtrace. Backtrack, whatever backtrack, so backtrack until G, which is the most recent unmarked mode. So, what is happening? Uh, kill L, K, J, H, because I must come, F, and I come all the way up, up to G, and from G, I push, uh, did I show it? No, but okay, from G, I push O and N, I am telling it here, and then. Uh, N pushes P and O pushes R, etc. Let's do another problem, a popular problem. N queen, you can do it with N equal to 8 here, but it can be anything actually. Uh, so no two queens on the same row or on the same column or on the same diagonal, right? So the class row. <clears throat> so how do I implement this with backtracking? Uh, I need a function that returns true if the location ij is safe so it is not uh, it is okay in terms of queen action so safe means uh, it is not trading any other existing queens okay <clears throat> or another existing queens isn't trading it as well so it returns true if Q can be placed, Q in can be placed at row I column J. I will use a auxiliary structure called X. This is a global array with first I minus one entries already set accordingly. So what does it mean? It means the following: X I equal to B means that for row A, Q is safe listing at column B. Okay, so this is very important. So then, with that in mind, it say works like this. So I am looking at the safety of this of this uh, entry, right? I j so i is zero one two and j is three two three. So let's do a pencil action here. I guess we support that. So let's look at here. It doesn't really matter. So in this case, what is it? Two comma so, so it is reputation of numbers. I don't like it, but anyway, whatever. Uh, so, is it safe to test it? You look at above rows. So, k equal to one. By the way. So we are talking about in in starting at one. Okay, so not zero. So let's stick with that indexing. Then this will be one, two, three. Row three, and column will be. One, two, three. So look at row one, row two. So is this, so remember xi, like x2 equal to four means I have a queen here. And x1 equal to one means I have a queen here. So it is already set. Now I am checking whether is it safe to put something here. So, uh, so look at the column it is safe right above nothing else so how do i check it basically xk so for this thing j is 3 and uh, x1 isn't 3 x1 is 0 sorry 1 and x2 isn't 3 x2 is 4 so i am safe column wise it is good how about the diagonal test it is more complicated so the idea is the following so let's talk about here so this this is this is the diagonal test right if i am looking at this index what is it it is row three column four uh, and i will check whether 
there is anything in this diagonal. So the idea is the slope one tactic. It means that the difference of height should be equal to the difference of uh, rise run. So the, the, the difference of rise is equal to the difference of run. If this is the case, then they are on the same diagonal, which is the situation here. So in other words, I J K L. If the vertical difference, the rise, which is k minus i right in uh, absolute value, it doesn't matter i minus k. If it is equal to j minus l, so it is what is it? It is the horizontal difference run j minus l. If it is equal, then they are on the same diagonal, so I need to return false. So in terms of code, I have this i minus k, which is this, okay. So what is this j minus l? j is the input, okay. But l is basically for the previous row, uh, x, xk gives me the corresponding column value, b, okay. So xk stands for the <coughs> l here. Then with that cool function in my hand, I can solve the backtracking. So this is the part where this text uh, comes. Uh, I start with uh, this call, 1n. Uh, so try start with the first row. And n is 8. And uh, it will always be 8 actually, for this case. So is it safe to put uh, Q on that column. So check all the columns. J looks for the columns from 1 to N. So is it safe to put it here? If yes, then I will go and recurse uh, for the next uh, row. And these dots are meaningful. In case the recursion backs up to this part again, I will Resume and I will look at the next red dot. So let's do it here Q is first here then when recursion is here These two are not safe. So is safe is false. I do not do anything about that But this is safe. So Q is here and this is I remember I don't do anything about it actually, But it is con conceptually I will go there if needed then for the third row, I find nothing. No, no place is safe. This is not good for this, and these three are uh, in problem because of this queue. So what I do is I back up and I move it to the next candidate position, which is this. Okay. Now I retry the third row. This is okay, nice, wonderful. Then I re, then I do the fourth row, but nothing is possible here, again because of the above rows. So I back up here, I try the next of this queue, not good because of this, the next of this queue is not good because of this, so back up even to the second row, so I am backing up significantly here, but there is nowhere else this guy again can go, so eventually I back up all the way to the first row and I try the next column of the first row and I then redo everything. So now Q is okay here, and Q is okay here, and then Q is okay here. So, and when <clears throat> J hits, uh, when I hits N, the row is N8 or 4 in this case, you print the result done. So let me trace this uh, the way I did the ball example with the stack tactic and I will also show you the actual trace uh, in a different way later so basically root is the mark node for R so it leads to four children right it is dealing with the first row so my four children are Q at leftmost in the middle or at rightmost location so I start with the first child and I will do some action so this will lead two children only E and F and this leads nothing so pop it off and this leads to another thing okay but this G leads, leads to nothing so uh, 
It is also gone. It doesn't work good for me. It doesn't work good for me. Now, I don't give up because A sucks. Okay, it didn't give lead. didn't lead me to a good result. So do the same from B. And it is what we did in the previous slide. Uh, so, in the previous, I mean in, in this part. B leads to H, H leads to A, I, and I leads to J. And once I find the good leaf, I just return. So let me show the uh, action in the stack explicitly. So initially in the stack, I put the entry in this i comma j format one one and f is the number of field rows uh, and when f becomes four i will be done basically so one one is okay and then for the second row is safe reworks only for two three so two three is okay and f becomes two because two rows are filled then then what happens uh, two three for the third row, I can't find anything, right? Because of the evolves. So I pop the top and I move it to the next. So I continue from where I left. So this is the backtracking idea. So I push 2, 4. And 2, 4 leads to 3, 2 because it's okay with 2, 4 and 1, 1. Then I get stuck again, right? Uh, so what I do is, because I can't put anything to the fourth row, I get three two. I make it three three. In other words, here, not good. Then I make it three four, not good because of this. So it is gone. Then two four. Next is two five, but two five is undefined, so I don't even do it. Then come here and do it one one. It becomes one two. It is on this slide, I guess. Yes, one two. Then 2, 4 is okay, then 3, 1 is okay, and then 4, 3 is okay. And when you hit 4, F number of field rows hits N, which is 4 in this case, you are done and finished.